well in today's lecture we are going to discuss about bayesian network so before we start for bayesian network in uh, chapter 2 of duda book <coughs> pattern recognition we need to first know that what is bayesian decision theory and for that uh, purpose let me first uh, talk about bayesian decision theory so or rather we can say that it's bayes decision theory decision theory <coughs> now in bayes decision theory we can uh, find out graph between x and probability of x given wi and for different values of w1 w2 we get different kind of graphs and we know that we have already worked on uh, feature vector so for example x which is uh, feature vector if x is a feature vector and this is calculated in any d which is a uh, uh, which is uh, the dimension of x then we can calculate the euclidean space space the different values of okay x now x can be okay mapped with for example m discrete values discrete values which are v1 this to vm v1 v2 v3 vm then pdf the probability distribution function p of x vector given wj or wi whatever it is this will become singular and the integral is written in the form p of x given wi dx now this will be equivalent to sorry i have taken the problem in the equivalent sign is here in this case instead of 3 i have taken 4 now this will be summation of p of x given w or wj whatever it is x given wi where we know that from bayes theorem we have already calculated or we we know the formula by which we can calculate p of wi given x is calculated as p of x by wi by p of wi of p of x where p of x is summation of j or i whatever it is i p of x given wj wi p of wi <coughs> the definition of conditional risk in such cases conditional risk in such cases is r of and for given x this is unchanged and and the fundamental fundamental bayes decision rule remain 
same or unchanged remain same now this is basically bayes decision theorem and uh, from from bayes decision theorem we can calculate different uh, data and finally we can calculate different missing feature noisy feature and finally we go for bayes belief network so now the topic what we are going to cover first is called Bayes Belief Network. Okay. The methods we have described so far for calculating Bayes network are general. Now we could parameterize PDF by vector, for example, theta. If we have prior information about this theta, then we can use it. Sometime we may not have such idea about how the distribution of such parameterized vector being used and we have statistical dependencies or independencies for some component variable now for multidimensional uh, probability distributions for example p of x vector okay we can have we can find out two feature vector p of xi xj which is written as p of xi and p of xj and uh, these are two variables for example this is xi and xj we can write x x and y and we have based on the feature vectors we have various different parameters okay now if these two are xi and x xj are statistically independent then we cannot plot something like that but if it is dependent then this particular rule or this this particular follow it varies okay now depending on this casual distribution um, dependencies by means of Bayesian belief network or called which is called belief network or casual network <coughs> we can find out the relationship in between these nodes now statistical dependencies between variable that many times we don't have a knowledge about a distribution then we don't know whether these variables are really dependent or independent now such dependencies basically can be represented efficiently using a Bayesian network or Bayesian belief network or we can say belief network Now in case of automobile engine there are different different parameters which are dependent on each other where like engineer engine temperature brake fluid pressure tire air pressure wear voltage but this actually affects the performance of any car or automobile engine performance of any automobile engine now <coughs> These are casually related variables which are engine temperature and coolant temperature and these are not casually re related variable engine oil pressure and tire air pressure. These are different applications. Now depending on that we can actually derive a graph. 
Now, how we got this graph? Let's uh, go for the derivation. Let's say we have few nodes A, B, C, D, E. Now we do not know whether A, B, C, D, E they are dependent or independent. Now there, for example, in an in unit, and these are nodes. Now in a unit, these nodes may be dependent, may be independent. We can have casual dependencies. Now these all values or all node in the unit represent one of the system component like we are talking about automobile system now <coughs> we have labeled this discrete value nodes as a b c d e and we can uh, uh, say that a value belongs to capital a b value belongs to small b uh, small b value belongs to b c value belongs to c small d belongs to this these we can say these are the values of different nodes and these are the values corresponding variables or corresponding values of different low nodes so this okay <coughs> now for example a can take up to discrete number of uh, okay uh, possible values for example a can take a1 a2 dot, dot, dot. Now, for example a rep represent automobile ignition and we say that a equal to 0 means this is off and 1 means this is on so and we have decided that probability of a1 is something like 0 0.739 and probability of a2 is 0 0.261 we have calculated from that performance of the engine and we can say and this is p a1 we know always a plus p a2 will be always one <coughs> so summation of p a i is always one depending on that we can say that these are the okay probabilities of autom automobile ignition switch now this is a part of bayesian belief network where each link in the network is directional and join different nodes more than two nodes the link represent the casual influence of one node upon another thus in this in the net we can say that from that probability we can say there are different influences in between so we can say that uh, uh, let's say we have a relationship that uh, a influences d B influences C, C influences, sorry, D, D influences E. <coughs> so we can design the belief network from that. So let's design the belief network. So we have seen that A is influencing D so 
so we can say that a influences d b influences c c is influencing d so this is probability of a is p a probability of b is p b now probability here in this case will be c given b and here it will be probability of um, probability of d will be given a comma c now d if e is dependent on d it will be probability of e given d and something we can calculate now this is called bayesian called Bayesian belief network so so this Bayesian belief network consists of several nodes and they are associated uh, with uh, different nodes which has discrete states <coughs> and we have probability of each and every node we can now calculate the values of nodes in Bayesian belief network Now from conditional probability we can calculate Bayesian belief network. Now similarly we can have another example. <coughs> this is a Bayesian network with a directed acyclic graph. So considering a problem of classifying fish, we want to incorporate more information than the measurement of lightness and width. Imagine a human expert has constructed a simple Bayesian belief network in this figure where node A represents the time of year which can have four values A1 equal to winter, spring, A2 equal to spring, A3 equal to summer and a4 equal to autumn. So these are different values of A. Now similarly, node B represents the local where the fish were caught. In this local, B1 can be have two different local that's North Atlantic and South Atlantic which is having two values B1 and B2. Node X <coughs> are two types of sea fish which we have already discussed that we have two two classes x1 and x2 that salmon and sea was fish and where in this network we can say that a and b are the parents of a x where a is season and b is local Now this is a network which is a directly acyclic graph network. Each rep node represents a system variable. Each variable assumes certain uh, states, values and we can say that there are two children of X which represent the okay lightness and thickness where lightness is represented by c that is 
dark, medium, light and all and thickness is thick on thin that depending on season and depending on local we can say that how this fish are okay uh, classified and we can we can uh, find out the probability function now relationship between nodes are basically a link which is joining these different nodes depending on which is parent node which is child node and how this can influence directly or indirectly so this is a and b are parent node and this c and d are the child node now we can compute different probabilities of different function from this and determine the probability using this function we can de derive the e <coughs> evaluation and learning and similarly we can use that same feature for determining different different other problems so thank you